The east side tunnel was one of the most difficult challenges on the entire Going to the Sun Road. Built in 1931, the 408-foot tunnel appears to come directly out of Pigan Mountain with waterfalls cascading down the portal. Before work could begin, a three and a half mile trail was constructed 200 feet above the road from Logan Pass to a point above the site of the tunnel. A platform on which to work was excavated by moving 6,250 cubic yards of dirt and rock. The materials and equipment were hauled to the platform above the tunnel site and then were packed by laborers down ladders and switchbacks totaling 200 vertical feet. In November of 2006, Severe rain and flooding washed out multiple sections of both lanes on the Going to the Sun Road near the tunnel. Within days, heavy snows prevented access and repairs had to wait until spring road crews could plow their way to the damaged sites. I'm standing here on the Going to the Sun Road on the east side below the east tunnel where most of the, uh, the worst damage occurred following that November 2006 storm. Right behind me here, you can see the ravine that uh, carried all the water and debris that took out a lane and three quarters of this site. Several strategies were explored for repairs and eventually it was decided that a mechanically stabilized earthen wall, 350 feet long, would solve one problem and a temporary bridge would be required to provide two-way traffic over another spot. This incident is a reminder of the power of nature and reiterates the need to rehabilitate the going to the sun road so that future generations can enjoy its majesty.